Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. How to set up a home theater? We get questions like this asked all the time. There's all kinds of formats out there. There's 5.1, there's 7.1, there's 9.1, there's Dolby Atmos. There's all kinds of systems. And these are just numerical uh, connotations for the amount of sources that you're going to have in the room. Let's step back and think a little bit about what a home theater is. It's a bunch of mono sources, individual speakers, usually full range now today, never used to be the case, but full range energy into a lot of small rooms. It's hard enough to get good quality sound out of two speakers in a small room. Try doing it with 10, 12, 14 speakers, okay? So the goal here is to realize what we have. We have multiple mono sources on different surfaces. So we wanna make sure that we treat those surfaces with the proper treatment so that we don't interfere with the, with the sound of the source or the speaker. So in this graphic that we have here, you can see a situation which we used to illustrate all the sources of the room firing into diffusion on the sidewalls, which is our technique of getting the sidewalls and the rear walls to disappear. Something that's very expensive, but the sound is incredible. We'll do a series of videos on that later. But the bottom line here is home theater, how to set up a home theater, multiple sources, lots of energy. And every source has a matching surface that has to be treated accordingly. In home th theaters, the two surfaces that are the most critical are the ceiling and the rear wall. Because the ceiling is usually the lowest or smallest of all the dimensions we have to work with in small rooms. And that floor to ceiling area is critical in developing what we call psychoacoustic space. So diffusers are really good tools for making the brain think that the room is much larger. So in home theaters, always consider and always budget for diffusion on the ceiling and the rear wall. So remember, when you're setting up your home theater, make sure you first have the right room size and volume. Watch the amount of low frequency sources you put in the room, okay? The left channels, the right channels, the rears, the, the ceiling speakers, those all have to be included. But where people fail in, in small room home theaters is they put too much low frequency pressure devices, subwoofers, too many in the room and the room can't handle it so it overloads. So the treatment side of it is always going to be low frequency emphasized and then the other end of it is the diffusion for the ceiling and the rear wall. So how to set up a home theater system in a small room? Make sure you got the right size and volume, watch the amount of low frequency energy you put in the room, definitely use diffusion on the ceiling and the rear wall. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.